we are heading to Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, Vietnam. We're leaving the Philippines and we're going to fly out and head to this beautiful city. As always, I'll show you step by step what you need to know and how much things cost along the way. Just give you some tips so that when you travel from the Philippines to Vietnam, you got the info. Leaving the Red Doors Inn in Manila. This is not a bad place to stay if you want to see outside of the touristy areas. Look at this nice place. Now we are at the International Airport in Manila. It's Terminal 2 for the Philippine Airlines, okay? Just to let you know that. But make sure you know what terminal you're going to be staying at. I grabbed a bite to eat and kind of chilled out. I always like to get there early. That's me. And when it came time to get in the flight, I just made sure that I had all my paperwork. They did check to make sure I had my Vietnam e-visa paperwork before I got on the plane. And you can see I've got my cushion with me. I always make sure I bring that. The flight was quite wonderful. It was flown by Philippine Airways. And here we are in Vietnam. It was only a three hour flight, quick. Make sure you have your e-visa, your passport, and all your vaccine paperwork ready. Look at how congested it is at passport. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Yes. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> So here, uh, I came over here and they had currency exchanges and they also had uh, where you get a taxi. So to give you an idea, you can look at the current currency exchange at the time that you're coming, but they take care of everything right here, including they bought my uh, excess Filipino uh, uh, pesos that I had. So they bought my pesos. I was able to exchange, just like I've done in other videos before, I exchange one $100 bill just to kind of get me to the hotel and then I use my ATM card from there, okay? And right over here, they also take care of getting you your taxi. They give you a receipt and they tell you what stall to go to and they look at your hotel and find out where you need to go, okay? Uh, so just let you know, um, as far as getting through that crazy uh, <laughs> uh, customs area, I'll tell you, make sure that you uh, use the restroom before you go there. and. Uh, and that, that took about almost two hours to get through that mess. So just be ready for that. You know, maybe have a bottle of water or something uh, from the airplane, uh, just ready to go for that, right? But otherwise, you know, at least it was orderly and we moved through and nobody seemed to be jumping in line or anything like that, so that's good. Okay, let's go to the hotel. You will take your receipt that shows where your stall is and there will be a person waiting there for you with the taxi cab. It looks super congested out here, but it's actually quite organized. You see all the numbers tells you right where to go. All right, you can really see how important it is to just travel light, okay? So I walked outside right to the stall they told me to walk to and uh, the gentleman right here next to me is waiting for me and uh, we're gonna jump in uh, his cab and go to the hotel. So you can see how many people are bringing lots of luggage and it's just, it's very congested out here. Uh, but there are some great places to eat here as well, just to let you know. All right, this is the cab right here that takes us. They have plenty of room, of course, for a whole family, but it's just me. All right, so we're in the cab and uh, we're gonna head to the hotel. Uh, just to let you know, the airport here, very clean. Everything was very organized. Um, going through customs, there was a lot of people, but at the same time, the lines were organized and it actually just moved along smoothly. It just took a long time. Uh, there were no kiosks for the uh, Vietnamese citizens and I think that's what happened. I, I think they had kiosks, but they were not functioning right now. And so they had everybody together in one area. So they weren't separated by citizens and visitors. But once I got outside, money exchange places were right there, super friendly, everything taken care of. And uh, now we're, we're good to go. So we'll see what the hotel looks like and, uh, and check out uh, Ho Chi Minh City. here 
government, yeah. Nice, nice building. It was 250,000 dong to get to the hotel. And the hotel was really nice. It's under renovation. I'm going to do a full hotel review in another video, but I just loved it. It's really close to all the places I wanted to go. Aloha, everyone. Have a wonderful day.